What is a rootkit? A rootkit is defined as a malicious computer program. It allows bad actors to get privileged access, also called root access, to an endpoint device. By breaching the application, bad actors can reach the kernel or core of a computer's operating system while using the malicious code in disguise to avoid detection. Although some rootkits have legitimate users, including offering additional end-user support, the majority of rootkits unlock a backdoor on victims' systems, allowing malicious software like keylogger programs, viruses or ransomware to be installed for network security attacks. In addition, rootkits frequently disable antivirus software, endpoint security systems and anti-malware to protect malicious software from being detected. Rootkits purchased on the dark web can be used in phishing attacks or social engineering to convince victims to install them on their computers, therefore granting remote attackers administrative access to the device. How do rootkits operate? Rootkits are implanted and buried until they are activated by an attacker. When naive users allow permission for rootkit installation software, Rootkits include financial data snatchers, antivirus disablers, keyloggers, password stealers, and bots for distributed denial of service attacks. Did you know rootkits propagate in the same way as other computer viruses, such as phishing email campaigns, malicious executable files, fraudulently designed PDF or Microsoft Word documents, connecting to damaged shared folders, and installing rootkit infected software from infected sites. What are the possible outcomes of a rootkit assault? It infects your computer with malware. A rootkit can infect a computer, network or system with malicious software such as viruses, worms, adware, ransomware, trojans, spyware and other harmful programs that can impair device or system functionality compromising the privacy of its data. It hijacks files. Rootkits gain access to a system, device or network by exploiting a backdoor. This might occur during the login process or due to safety or operating system software flaws. Once inside, the rootkit can run software that takes or deletes files without the user's knowledge. Intercepts personal data. Payload rootkits frequently employ keyloggers, which record keystrokes without the user's knowledge. In other circumstances, these rootkits send phishing emails that, when opened, install the rootkits. The rootkit extracts sensitive and personally identifiable information in both cases, including credit card details or banking credentials. This data may be later sold to cyber criminals via the dark web. Obtains sensitive information. Rootkits can infiltrate networks, systems, devices, and install malware that searches for confidential and private data to monetize it or transfer it to unauthorized parties. Rootkits use several methods to acquire sensitive data, including keyloggers, adware, screen scrapers, backdoors, spyware and bots. It reconfigures the system. A rootkit can modify configuration parameters once it has gained access to the network system or computer. It can go into stealth mode making it harder for ordinary security tools to identify it. Rootkits can also maintain a continual state of presence, making it difficult or inconceivable to remove them even after a system reboot. A rootkit can give an attacker constant access or modify security authorization privileges to make it easier to gain access. Rootkit detection is difficult. It poses a severe risk to computing systems since they provide a hacker with complete and unmitigated access to the system. In our next video, we will explore how to remove and detect rootkit. Thank you for watching this video.
We hope this helped you understand what Rootkit is. In the next video, we explore Rootkit detection and prevention. To know more, hit the article link in the description below. To stay updated with the latest in technology, visit spiceworks.com.